This video will show you how to create a new project and its related settings. System settings in SoloPlan p P9E helps users to reset the Project Explorer and Data Explorer if it's missing in the interface and also to locate the drawing template. From this folder, you can choose one of the preset templates or your own customized one. To create a project, click on Project Explorer, then Active Project drop-down, then New Project. In the following dialog box, you can enter project name, project description, choose the directory, and set the project units, either metric, imperial, or mixed metric. In step 2, we can optionally select the settings from an existing project. After you hit the Create button, a database will be created and you will get a message saying that the project is created. After you create the project, you need to create a drawing file in order to start designing your PNID. To create a drawing, go to Project Explorer, right-click PNID Drawings, then PNID Drawing. Give the drawing a name and choose a template. Go to Project Explorer, double-click the newly created drawing and it will open. Next, we will organize the tag format settings. These settings help you organize the annotation style for the entire PNID project. To access the settings, click on the small tag with gear wheel icon in the top ribbons tool group and select tag format setting from the drop down. In this menu, you can set the tag formats for different object types. For the selected object type equipment, we will change the tag format from type hyphen number to type hyphen number hyphen area. Select area from the column name and bring it into the format field with the arrow button. Do the same with the hyphen from the delimiters and move the hyphen up with the up button. Notice that the tag format has changed to type hyphen number hyphen area. You can save as the current format or save as new and the new format will be available from the tag format dropdown. Now for the object type process line, remove the insult tick from the tag setting by using the left arrow in the menu. Do the same for the hyphen. Use the up button to bring number and the hyphen up. Then you can save the tag format as new and find it in the drop down. You can save either format as the default tag setting. You can apply this procedure to all object types of the PNID drawing from this menu. If you want to delete an annotation style, simply select the tag format in the tag setting menu and hit delete. To access the tag column settings, click tag column settings from the save drop down as before. A column setting dialog box will pop up. Here you can add or edit the available items for the tag settings. Let's say you want to display capacity for all your equipments. To do that, make sure you first select the correct PNID object, in this case equipment. Scroll down until you see text 01. Change the display name as capacity and change the edit field to edit. Then save the changes. This newly added column text will appear in the assign tag dialog box when you assign your equipment. Let's add some customized columns to process line. For example, pressure and temperature for a line. Change the PNID object to Process Line, then scroll down to Text01, double click on Display Name and change it to Temperature. Change Text02 to Pressure and change the Edit field to Edit. Click Save and close the menu.
You can use text style settings to change or modify the annotation's font style, text height and many more. From the same drop-down, select text style settings and a dialog box will appear. Click view styles of project to see the current styles. To edit any of the text styles, select the class type in the Edit Text Style drop-down and click on Edit Style button. A Drafting Style dialog box will open where you can modify font, height of text and orientation. After you select your desired font and text height, click on OK.